Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, this deconstruction is gonna be all about this photo. Um, I've actually been really hard at work capturing a ton of behind the scenes footage um, that I plan to walk through. Uh, probably about a dozen deconstructions like this over the next few months. I've been really hard at work. I've been traveling the last two weeks. I did about four sessions in Spain, shot a wedding on Saturday, which is what this photo is from and I shot actually a wedding last night but I didn't record any uh, behind the scenes footage from that so the idea behind these it's been a while since I've done a full-length uh, video deconstruction like this uh, I've got a little chess cam footage uh, if you're curious about the camera that I use for that check the podcast episode from the post literally just before this uh, I it's got a video component as well Nathan and I talk through a lot of different topics uh, some related to tech some related to uh, politics but in the very beginning of that episode I talk about this chess cam that I've been using uh, actually attached to my sling bag. I'm not actually wearing it as a individual chest camera because that would be super annoying and way too much work. Uh, but I've been very happy with that rig. It captures footage in, uh, you know, basically a circle, a circle, everything in front of me is captured and I can uh, edit it in post to be 19 by 16 or 16 by nine without losing any crop. It's wonderful uh, for this kind of stuff. So I just dumped the raw footage of me setting up this shot which uh, was just in a room on the second floor, kind of like a holding room. I'm sure you've been in, if you're a wedding photographer, you've been in a lot of uh, like bridal suites or venues where they've got dedicated spaces for couples to just get away or actually where they do all their getting ready and, and everything to begin with. So uh, let's just play pause our way through. I will also be going through some of the raw photos in Lightroom, which are completely unedited. They have my baseline preset gain stage applied on import, which is my preference. I always import with my preset applied. I never look at my images straight out of camera if I can help it. Longtime patrons will know why that is. I'm not gonna get into it right now, but uh, let's get going. So resuming. Okay. So right away, I'm gonna pause. Uh, the light that I'm using is actually right here, the first one that I'm using. It's the Bowling BLP1 RGB LED full blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'll link to it in the show notes. 140 bucks. It's actually a little expensive compared to a lot of LED lights now, but this thing is rock solid. I love the quality of light. If I could go back and actually swap which light I had positioned, because uh, I used two lights in this photo, I probably would swap. Uh, I think the quality of light on with this uh, particular brand and model is more flattering on someone's face. Not just the color temperature, but just the way the light falls on someone's face. Totally subjective, but that is my opinion. And I think the other light that I'm going to use, which is this one from Aperture, uh, is a little more, it's a little more harsh. I don't know how to describe it, but it does do the full RGB spectrum. You compare it to your phone. This one is a lot more advanced and it's actually even cheaper. The big catch with this, and I actually got it from my uh, second shooter who was uh, working with me and just happened to have it on her. Big advantage, it's got magnets. And as I was walking around, you'll see I discovered just in the moment, a uh, lamp that was all metal that I could easily attach it to. So pretty cool. Uh, okay, time to resume. The other thing, uh, I set the color to orange purely out of preference. I just think orange is a really cool color. There. So this is me just deconstructing. Good work. I don't know if I save anything interesting. This is me just playing around with the lights. Any room at night, especially where I have control over doors and lights, I start by just turning everything off and then add light to the situation. Just to give you some context, this is cocktail hour. They actually weren't attending cocktail hour at all. Uh, I had my second shooter covering in and out of cocktail hour, so I didn't have to really do much with it, but uh, we're just waiting around. She's actually getting her bus dressed. I haven't even asked them yet uh, if they'd like a photo. Yeah, that's what my sister did. They did like a, a year later kind of anniversary yeah. honeymoon. I had my boss the same thing. He was like, he was, like, got married on the same time like two years ago. And then he was like, yeah, we'll just go out in the season. And then COVID hit and he still hasn't gotten his own honeymoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. COVID. <laughs> okay, so I got my second light that I'm excited to play with. 
Up until this point, I didn't actually have the light, and I was thinking I would just use the lamp as the main light source, but the lamp is super bright, not dimmable. Didn't have a lot of control over the direction of it. This light worked out a lot easier. It's a very loud room. Amazing. Still not totally sure of the exact composition that I'm going to go for. And you'll see actually when I start this photo, it's a completely different idea. I have an awesome idea. I've been working on it. I just need Logan whenever he's... It's no rush. It's the idea. So, uh, Logan, I'm going to make you sort of a silhouette behind her. And she, you're going to actually have light on you. So... Stand in front of this and just kind of, yeah, turn your head one direction. I'm going to take this, darken that light. And Sarah, are you able to sit, do you think, on yes, that at all? Okay, if you want to try. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, also, you're bustled, so that's nice. It was here when I started to notice to the right of my eye, the framing and the circle. And obviously, I was thinking about using the mirror to begin with. But the real composition started to crystallize in my mind here. But I didn't want to eject entirely my original idea, which is what we were going for, and didn't end up working, as you'll see in a minute. The girl who did the tailoring, she was like, you have to be able to sit. So. Okay, this is perfect. Okay. So I don't know what she was talking about. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you can see the arrangement here. Biggest issue here was the, the light. Uh, I could have done a double exposure, but essentially I was having too big an issue separating him as the silhouette from her face being lit individually. Okay. Uh, what I wanted was do to do him as a silhouette and then her lit within his sort of chest area. So him as a silhouette actually worked beautifully. I could have taken this as a first shot as, as a um, uh, double exposure, taken a second shot of her lit super bright. So I could adjust my exposure. So she was much, much, much brighter than him. And it, and it would have worked probably just fine. But I didn't really want to overcomplicate everything because I was really fixated at this point on that circular mirror. So we tried a few ideas. You can see right here. I'm going to just... Okay, I took like five shots, <laughs> which is a shockingly low number for me. Just didn't really work. I'm sure I, I might still be able to edit this into something cool uh, later. But, you know, there's too much bleed of orange on his skin and orange on hers. And it just... It, Maybe as a black and white. Let's see. Kind of cool. Yeah, I could deliver that. Uh, but it's just not at all what I was going for with a silhouetted person and a lit person like this. So let's uh, see myself shoot through some of these ideas. Tight. Let me dial it in. Oh, looking away. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, you're okay. Uh, and Sarah, I'm going to have you look that way. Aquí estamos haciendo fotos. You probably can't hear. We're doing photos here. What's up? We're, we're doing a quick photo. Do you need her? Okay, no. Yeah. I just want to make sure she's good, but we're going to go downstairs. Yeah, we're good. Okay, bye. Thank Hi. you, bye. Thank Checking you. in on with the sister. Bye. Very nice. They did it. Okay, uh, if you can bring that arm like down by your side. or. Do you want my bouquet? No, 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 okay. no. Just there's fine. You're not even going to see your arm. Uh, Logan, can you tip your... That, that way is cool for you. Yeah. Uh, and if you can tippy toe it just a touch. So you're yeah. a little taller. Hold that. Good, good, good. Yeah, yeah, it's just your, yep, both of you serious is good, hold that. Just nowhere close. Now, if I took the diffuser off the front, Beautiful. maybe, he's just way too close to her. All right, and then one more idea, Sarah, you can actually stand for that. Come over here to the... Now I'm realizing, okay, we Logan, you're good them. where you're at, actually, it's fine. Or maybe, um, sort of... We need to separate them completely so that uh, she's super bright and he's a maintained silhouette. In front on the side of that. Yeah, yeah, so you're blocking the light. Cool. Yeah, and then I need your silhouette. So face that wall, I think. Yes. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, but uh, a little closer to your wall. Perfect. It just looks straight because it's just your shadowy outline. And Sarah, I'm going to get you situated. One sec. So there's him. Uh, can you do hands in your pockets, Logan? Sorry. Yeah, sorry. It's all good, man. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, I need to put that on, like, my shirt. <laughs> Always telling people to put their hands in their pockets. It's crazy. They never do. <laughs> so, uh, a few of the test shots here. Super underexposed. Not too worried about anything yet. I'm shooting this with a, let's see, my 50 at f1.2. 
Uh, so a thousand one two hundredth of a second. So just a couple test shots, get some idea of framing. Then I start lighting her up. <laughs> You're not alone in the uh, uh, reminder. Okay, uh, if you can step forward and a little to your left. Super, super key thing I use all the time. Glad I saw it just now. Light, light physical touch on someone's shoulder. Just super light tap something. Makes people actually feel really comfortable. But you've got to do it in a way that you know doesn't like scare them. Generally, light physical touch will set people at ease. I will also do it if people are facing and looking at me and I you know, want to fix a bit of their hair or something. Even if there's nothing to fix, oftentimes I'll lightly find reasons to lightly touch people. Uh, just in a super appropriate way, it makes people feel a, a lot more comfortable and like they can ease into whatever change I'm asking. It doesn't have to be you know, snap to it. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm gonna light you this nice magnetic thing. <laughs> You're like, I love this thing. <laughs> yeah, so. Boom, so now you can perfect. see it. And then kind of trend your eyes toward the light, yeah. And maybe like, let's let your arms kind of behind you just so we don't totally have, and we can go serious for this as well. Just super serious, oh, I love it guys, hold that. And there Ooh, it is. Okay, yeah. Yep. This is going on the Instagram. Mm -hmm. If you're cool with that. <laughs> Beautiful. Hold that. Oh, so good. So, so, okay, let's look through some of these pictures. I think I actually ended up using the very first shot that I took. Yep. And this is the fully edited one. I, it's a PSD file because I had to take it into um, Photoshop to get rid of the lamp. At that, I just didn't, I, I try and see through the noise and I didn't want to move the lamp out of the way. I suppose I could have moved it back a little bit, but it's just white wall behind it. It's easily gotten rid of. Didn't want to overthink it at that point and, uh, you know, back the lamp up or anything. Plus, uh, I would have lost brightness on her. And I really didn't want to do that. I wanted her to be perfectly well lit. And then I had a decision to make in editing, uh, which, you know, I'm a bit back and forth on between her expression being subtly uh, more smiley and happy, which I also love, or her expression being more serious and sort of vogue, <laughs> if that's uh, a word <laughs> that's appropriate. I'll deliver probably one of each version, not all of these. Uh, because I like the smiling one. It's fine. But something about couples being really stoic, uh, I, I love on their wedding day because you just don't see it all that often. You tend to see a ton of really happy, smiley pictures. And, and that's great, too. We got tons of those. This is uh, a little more dramatic. It's nighttime. The light is very dramatic. I think seriousness is appropriate. Biggest thing I would uh, honestly change. Uh, so let's see. I think that's all the photos from this series. Nothing too crazy. I did a little different perspective here just to see. I don't like the ceiling. I don't like the crown molding. So that was just trying stuff out. Biggest thing I would change in the final file that I wish I could change is not when you see the crown molding on the bottom with the floor here. It also it kind of ruins the illusion. I think it would have been a slightly stronger composition if I had just gone a little bit lower or maybe got them to stand on their tippy toes a little higher so that it was just a pure white wall with a line between them. That would have been a much cleaner composition, I think. It's understated enough that it's not a huge problem, but that's the one thing that kind of bugs me in this shot uh, when I look at it in post. Moving on from this, you'll see I swing around and just do a quick few photos of them up against the wall like this. Uh, there's a little, cool little mirror. And I kind of stumbled into a lucky double exposure, uh, which I can actually show you on my desktop. Right here. Uh, this is just one shot of them through the mirror and then another exposure uh, with them out of focus. And yeah, it's it's just kind of a happy accident that worked out. So let's play, pause our way through this part of the video and that should wrap it up. I've never done anything like this. Mm. It's pretty rare actually for me. <laughs> oh, okay. And then one safety, uh, if you two can just stand back where you originally were, Logan, uh, just face each other, get in really close. I'm just gonna get a silhouette of you both against that really pretty light. Exactly. And just slow moves, whatever you want. Keep your like, belly buttons really close together. And just, Bye. yep, yep. Super uh, easy key posing instruction. Talk about the belly buttons, right? Bring your waist in close. Point your belly buttons towards each other. Yeah, people know exactly what you're... It's very unambiguous. They know what you mean. All right, and almost like you're going to kiss or... Ooh, that's fine too. Yep, yep, hold that. 
Nine times out of 10, when I start to give a, a direction with posing, they start to move into something even better. I tend to latch onto that and make it obvious that they've surprised me. It gets them a lot more excited. Like they're doing things right and they're natural uh, with their natural urges and their natural tendencies. Even if they actually, <laughs> oftentimes if they do something uh, that doesn't look good, I'll still say, ooh, ooh, do that. Just for like five seconds to, again, make them feel good. Uh, even if I ultimately will change the pose. But he did a great thing there. I like the kiss on the forehead. Uh, nice little mirror. That's fine. Yeah. <sighs> that yes. is. Perfect. Oh, so good. Thank you guys. All right. Done. It's amazing what you can do in a dark room. Yeah, this yeah. is pretty cool. All right. Okay, guess that's it. That's all I have to say. This ended up being about 15 minutes just going through that. I've got so much more footage. Ugh, I don't even know where to begin. I'm super excited though. I think this format of deconstruction is probably the most helpful, particularly the mood I set and sort of the interaction between my couples. I think so many small little things uh, really help shape the environment of what you're shooting and, and how energized and excited people are to work with you. Politeness goes a long way. I'm excessively polite, pretty pretty direct, but in such a nice way, nobody's ever going to push back really against me. And if they do, I still spin it into a positive. So hope all those thoughts make sense. Uh, I will be back soon. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, as always, thank you so much for your attention. Bye.